What is up guys, Express here, I'm back with another video. Now in this video, we'll create something like this. So if you guys like what, what you see and you don't wanna make it, this video has to be has to have 100 likes. And I'll put a link in the description so you can download that. So what you wanna do is create a new file. It's a file from, uh, it's a Twitter set a header size file. So what you wanna do with that is create, go to pixels, create a size of 3000 on a thousand and the resolution on 300 and then create that and you'll have a size like this. I'm gonna make sure this is not visible anymore. I'm gonna put all of this in the map. You wanna have a black background to start with, of course, just fill that in with the black. Alt backspace is what I did. Go and type your text. The font I'm using is Bungie. The link will be in the description if you wanna use that yourself. So type out your name. I'm just gonna type out Express for this tutorial purpose and choose yourself a color that you like. For this tutorial purpose, I'm gonna choose the same color. So the red that I, that I made the text width so you want to make that big put that up there i want to duplicate that with the ctrl j like so and then you want to remove all the words except the first one like so because we're going to make them separately that they're jumping out and turn around on different uh, levels so what you want to do with the first one you want to make that a bit bigger or make it a bit smaller it's up to you really how you want to place your text i'm just going to place them in the position that i really like the express is just to know what letter is uh, is the next one but you know it's the express is not really hard to to, you know to remember by but i mean it's just for the tutorial purpose and like so now we can remove the first express and there you have it so that is what you're working with you're gonna put that in the middle and what you want to do is you want to so make like a 3d effect and i've done this with a lot of videos and a lot of tutorials but i'm going to show you again um this process but i'm going to speed the rest up so i'm going to show you what i do with the x and then i'm going to speed this process up we're going to do the simple style so no with no lightning just with a little backing so if you want so i'm going to put this on my store so if you want you can edit this very simple so what you want to do is press the x ctrl j the x double click on the bottom x and put the color overlay of a darker color that you already have so i'm going to do a dark red hit ctrl t and move that a bit down with your mouse or with the arrow keys it's up to you so you want to move that pretty far to the right and bottom something like that you want to make a new layer between those two layers you're gonna go to your polygon lasso tool if you don't have your polygon lasso tool you hold in your left mouse button and it shows you three options and go over to polygon lasso tool you can also do that with the pen tool but i think the polygon lasso tool is very simple and easy to use so what you want to do is take the same color of your background so you click on this little rectangle a little square and go over to the color press ok and you have that color now what you want to do is go over to one side of the of the top layer text and go to the other side of the bottom layer text and you want to fill in that little space to fill in that little space just all backspace you can also see that on the left on my screen with the keystrokes and then ctrl d to deselect and then you have a nice kind of 3d effect we're not going to put any lightning on this we're going to keep it simple for this tutorial but if you want to make it uh, if you want to make it even better in my opinion you can also put some light effects you want to select an area and then put some light dots in i've done this in a recent tutorial as well and if you don't know how to do this uh, go check that out link will be in the description okay and once you've done that you will have something like this but in my preview i have lighting i have some bit of lighting in the text as well but i'm not going to do that for the tutorial purpose because i've done that a lot of times it's a no single pack uh, the link will be in the description it's totally free because he had a um, amount of followers on his twitter so it's completely free i've, I've used this a lot and a lot of requests from where did you get that pack where is that pack you know i don't want to give all of my things that i use but i'm going to uh, give you this one because it's a great pack it's and it deserves a lot more uh, download that it, that it has already so what you want to do is go to cool stuff and you can see you have a lot of nice things if you want to have like an old school um feeling to it then i don't know this is the pack so you want to find a couple of things that you really like the first start is butterflies so take some butterflies or take something put that in okay like so i think this is pretty nice in my opinion i used that in the previous one as well so i'm gonna put that in everything that i'm using now will also be uh to, able to download i'm gonna first merge the text in a little map so what i do mostly is just find what i really like and just just go through it and it, this takes a while but you know like, like like this old phone it's pretty nice and i also used it in my banner as well so i'm gonna put that here at the same style there you go 
you just you don't have to uh, remake everything that I did but I mean uh, if you want the same position I mean just do a different position just check out what works what doesn't work and also go down on my pack because we're gonna use something out there as well some flowers some leaves as well so we're going to get that as well so go over to my nature PNGs and get yourself some couple of flowers that you like and that you think you're gonna use so I think I'm gonna use um, this one I'm gonna put that over there just do the positioning for now and then later do the color correction so in the of single pack there are some grids and we're going to take grid number two so we're gonna position that okay I think that's enough for now and now what we want to do is just give them a gradient so just give them a simple gradient um, go to gradient map black to white really fits as well also i'm going to make sure some some items are blurred and some items are not blurred so for this for example this uh, statue and i'm gonna put a filter blur on it caution blur like so i'm gonna make sure that it's really blurred like a six as well like this little flower as well i'm gonna put a filter blur caution blur on that as well but a, a bit of less blur um blur caution blur like a 1.3 also what i'm going to do this cassette i'm going to fill the filter blur and a motion blur as well so it's like it's flying uh, outside the text like so and then the same thing with this um phone also i'm going to just lower the opacity with that around 80 and then this leaves again I'm going to put the filter blur caution blur on that like so so the so everything is blurred out and the detail is still on the text now again these uh, butterflies i'm going to put a gradient map on top of that but a gradient map from um just a red uh, general gradient something nice something red like so and then put that on a hue or a color it's up to you i'm gonna put that on hue and then the butterflies change the color to red okay you want to keep that like so and then i also have some like um screenshots of photoshop that i put in there as well i'm simplifying the tutorial just for you guys out there i'm just gonna take a snipping tool and take a screenshot of the left side like so and then go to edit copy there you go put that in there and then i put that uh, on the left side like so and then I also take a screenshot from the color, so I'm going to do that as well. Go to color, take that screenshot from that, and then go to edit and copy, and paste that right in there, like so. And then I also have a mouse, so what you want to do with that is just go on to on Google, type in mouse PNG. Then you have a lot of great mouse PNGs that you can find there, so just take one that you like and save that on your PC. There you go, I've saved one random one. It's not, it's, it's a fake PNG, god damn. Then I'm going to make this mouse like so, a bit smaller, and it's on the P, like it's selecting the P as well. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there. And now what we want to do is make my little um, light flare that I always do. So take your brush, on the hard is on the zero, give it a little dab, press Ctrl T, hold in shift and make it something like this then do the control j control t turn that around in the middle like so merge those two layers with the control e then control t if i go fast just um slow down the video and you can see on the left side what i'm doing so what you want to do now is take the brush make it a bit smaller i'm holding alt and right click to make it smaller go to the left and the right to make it smaller i'm gonna make a new layer and hit a little dab in the middle of that so you want to merge those two layers again and then you have this little uh, flare that you can use and put everywhere so i'm gonna put one uh, right here so it has like a little effect like so i'm gonna duplicate that with the ctrl j make it a bit smaller and put that on the s as well i'm gonna duplicate that as well and i'm gonna put that um, around uh, here as well like so okay we get in there now what i did is just uh, put some textures on it so what i want to do is go to the process pack again and you want to go to textures you can also use like a rib texture if you click on this and click on ribs just take nine something like that put that in as well i think that's gonna fit uh, the theme as well i'm gonna just put that on the left side like so and you can also do is ctrl j ctrl t and you can also put that right here then ctrl j that again ctrl t that in, and turn that around again and then it's like it has a little ripped effect that is going through there want to do ctrl e that and maybe put that on the luminosity and also put that in the back like so and we can leave this um, in front 
Now what I uh, also did, so go to textures and I think this texture, this process texture, I put that on top of everything like so and I put that on a screen and it has this like this old grain effect as well and it has this little effect okay not done yet we have another one this one I also put that on there and I also put that on a screen I think yeah make that a bit bigger the ctrl t hold an alt and make it bigger like so I'm gonna lower the opacity of the first one that we did like so and then I think that is it for the textures. But if you think it uh, still has a nice one, you can also put that in there. Particles, I have some great particles on there that I also put down there. I think the first one I did, put that on there. So you want to do that as well. Make that a bit bigger, like so. I'm going to lower the opacity around 60. And you have this little particle effect also going on there. So what you want to do then is just um, like this little uh, particles, like this little... Um, round white particles put that on there as well i think that those are the last ones that i used if you still think you can put some on there then go ahead let's merge everything together select everything uh, select the first layer hold in shift go all the way to the bottom and select the bottom layer what you want to do is just a control uh, e uh, but you want to make sure it is a duplicate so you can still edit something in later so you want to hit ctrl j and then ctrl e there you go you wanna, 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 what you want to do is ctrl j go to filter blur Gaussian blur and we're going to blur out the sides so you want to have like a 4 4.1 take your brush and erase the middle part so the sides are blurred now i'm going to merge those two again hit ctrl j again and what you want to do you want to go to camera roll filter and how you want to do that is go to basic put up contrast a bit put a bit exposure a bit and put a highlights a bit okay and then what you want to do is go to curves, put highlights on and shadows down. And then you want to go to color grading, no, color mixer. And you want to, you can, there, there you can change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to make, uh, spice up the um, red a bit, just a bit. Okay. Now what I want to do is go to filter noise and add some noise to make that look a little bit more uh, authentic and a bit more an old feeling to it. Okay. Merge those two together again. Ctrl J that again. And what you want to do is of what i did is stylize wind and have a bit of wind on there like so and you have this little wind effect but you just want to lower the opacity to like an, um, a 20 or 26 like that so some parts are has it have a bit of wind and some parts don't and i think that has a really nice uh, look to it as well now what you want to do is put a gradient map on top of everything put it on invert like so and then it inverts the color as well and then you can also go to hue and saturation and change the color there and i think uh, white uh, is also pretty nice in my opinion if you just invert the color as well so yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you learned something more of this as well. I hope you spice up your banner a bit. I hope you don't just copy it. Also, if you hit, of course, 100 likes on this video, you will be able to download this as well. I, th I think um, it's not that difficult to make something like this. Uh, just um, try your own thing, put something there, put something uh, on the other side, and that definitely will spice up your banner. I hope you enjoyed this quick, fast tutorial on how I made this. Um, so yeah, 100 likes, you will be able to download this uh, in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.